Hello and welcome. This is Impact Inheritance, a quick few minutes of your day to journey through the incredible ways all of humanity has informed and shaped everything you'll experience today. Let's start by taking a deep breath in and out. Let's take a journey through time, focusing on the tale of the wristwatch. In the grand narrative of human innovation, it may seem small or insignificant, but it carries a story of adaptation and invention bound by the constraints of a ticking clock. As societies evolved, so did our methods of timekeeping. We began to create tools to measure time more precisely. Water clocks, hourglasses, mechanical clocks, and eventually digital and atomic clocks. Each development not only refined our measure of time, but also transformed our societies and way of life. And if you look down at your wrist, like many people, you are likely wearing a wristwatch, a small device that silently ticks, or maybe doesn't so silently tick. It marks the passing seconds of the day. It's a quiet reminder of our mortal time, a testament to our quest for precision, and it's a symbol of our ability to innovate. Watches weren't born on the wrist, but rather in our pockets. Pocket watches, beautifully intricate pieces of craftsmanship, were the pride and joy of their owners, often a sign of wealth and status. However, it wasn't always convenient or practical to pull out a watch from your pocket, especially in the thick of war. Picture being in the muddy trenches of World War I, where synchronizing maneuvers and attacks was critical. Fumbling with a pocket watch in the heat of battle proved cumbersome, impractical, and sometimes fatal. The solution was that soldiers began to strap their pocket watches to their wrists. This simple, improvised innovation, born out of necessity, caught the attention of watchmaking companies. One company was Rolex. Seeing the potential of this new type of timepiece, they took the lead in developing wristwatches for the wider public. By 1914, they had achieved a Certificate of Precision from the Kew Observatory, a distinction traditionally awarded only to marine chronometers. The wristwatch had become a true scientific instrument, demonstrating a precision never before achieved in such a small size, more than a hundred years ago at the time of this recording. A hundred years of development have since gone into the wristwatch, and prior to that, hundreds of years of development went into effective timekeeping. Time is something of a currency. It's a resource to be managed. And it has led us into our fast-paced scheduled world that we know today. Being able to keep good time is the tick and talk of civilization. And yet this humble wristwatch that sits on your wrist tells a story of hundreds of years of human ingenuity and also of precision. Standing as a testament to the human struggle and the human striving, towards better, higher efficiency, precision, communication, and collaboration. Take a moment to think about the value of accurate timekeeping, being able to be kept on your wrist or today on your phone. The next time you look down at a wristwatch or at the face of your phone to see what time it is, think of its journey from large clocks kept at the center of towns, usually on the church tower, to the muddy trenches of World War I, all to the comfort of your wrist or the flip of your phone. Each tick of the hands on a wristwatch, each digital change of the clock on your phone, is a testament to our collective human journey and ingenuity. Thank you for journeying through this moment of impact inheritance with me. As you move through your day, remember to appreciate the layers of effort and love that have gone into every corner of our world. Remember, every action you take leaves an imprint, an inheritance for yourself in this time, and also for future generations. You get to make the choice. So choose what kind of impact you want to have. Here's hoping you choose to make it positive, meaningful, considerate, and a little kinder to others and yourself than you might think necessary. Until next time.